Uh, hi everyone, I'm Dr. Rick Knapp, Director at the National Hurricane Center in Miami, Florida, on the campus of Florida International University. Such a tremendous partnership we have, and like all of you here in the D.C. area, at the FIU location, I spend a lot of time coming up to Washington, D.C., about half a dozen times a year with the National Weather Service headquarters and so many other federal partners being here in town. So as the National Hurricane Center enhances its collection of storm surge products and warnings and decision support services, we are relying heavily on partners who have expertise in storm surge, in particular in modeling that hazard, because we at the Hurricane Center uh, rely on partners to give us as much reliable guidance as possible with hydrodynamic models so that we can have all the tools at our disposal to create the output, the products, this new storm surge warning uh, that we're targeting for 2017 and supporting the emergency managers evacuation decisions and FIU's storm surge expertise and modeling capabilities are one of those very important tools and partnerships that we have in the box and it's really gratifying to be working together with FIU because what that enables us to do is go back to the researchers, the experts on the storm surge modeling. They can understand how we're utilizing the model, what changes we need. We provide feedback uh, to the modelers on what the strengths are and what the challenges are we're facing with a particular storm surge scenarios. And so ultimately these kinds of collaborations are intended to enhance our forecasts, our warnings, and ultimately our support of decisions by emergency managers for evacuations that are aimed at saving lives from the deadliest hurricane hazard of all, storm surge. I still think we have a long way to go such that people really understand what storm surge is and just how heavy and powerful and damaging and deadly water can be. And again, with storm surge being the deadliest hurricane hazard of all over the last half century, we need to be showing people what it can do. We need to be showing our decision makers who make evacuation decisions and ultimately we need to be showing ourselves how it looks for particular scenarios to play out. It's not enough anymore, I don't think, to just look at uh, simplistic depictions of the storm surge hazard. We need to be looking at what this means in terms of the impacts in particular communities and we can look at that in advance by looking at hundreds of different scenarios to understand the vulnerability. That's really cru crucial for planning purposes. But in real time, the better we can visualize what this particular storm could produce, given the uncertainties in the forecast, but still understanding what could happen, what we need to be preparing for in real time, those kinds of visualizations are vital. And ultimately, we do need uh, enhanced visualizations of storm surge so that people can fantasize reality a little bit. It's hard to explain to people what could really happen in their community unless they can see it. And a storm surge simulator, a, a visualization capability that helps people understand what can happen uh, can really under, can increase the understanding overall of what the storm surge hazard is, but also ultimately what people need to be doing in advance to prepare for it and in real time how to save their life.